Does Malaysia also oppose Western dominance? Malaysia has decided to join BRICS, as announced by Prime Minister Datuk Siri Anwar Ibrahim. But this decision to join BRICS seems more about challenging the Western system than just joining BRICS itself. As BRICS aims for de-dollarization and a multipolar world, more nations want to join. This shows a global willingness to reduce Western dominance. Could this be why Malaysia decided to join BRICS? Let's find out. Malaysia has announced its intention to join the BRICS group of emerging economies. This bold decision, revealed by Prime Minister Datuk Siri Anwar Ibrahim, marks a significant shift in the country's international strategy. But what does this mean for Malaysia and the global order? The announcement comes at a time when the world is increasingly embracing a multipolar order, challenging the long-standing dominance of Western powers. By seeking membership in BRICS, Malaysia is not just making a geopolitical action, it is making a statement. The country is positioning itself at the forefront of a global transformation, eager to enhance its influence and play a more active role on the world stage. What drives this decision? Malaysia's ambitions go beyond mere participation. This move reflects a vision for a more balanced and equitable global system, where power is more evenly distributed among nations. It signals Malaysia's readiness to engage more deeply with emerging economies, fostering new alliances and opportunities. As the world watches, Malaysia's entry into BRICS could herald a new chapter in global alliances and economic strategies. Why is Malaysia's bid to join BRICS more than just a symbolic gesture? To understand, we need to look at its strategic position along the Malacca Strait. This narrow waterway is one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, acting as a vital corridor linking the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Imagine the sheer volume of goods, from oil to electronics, that traverse this maritime artery daily. Control over this route isn't just advantageous, it's transformative. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's strategic foresight in leveraging Malaysia's geographic significance reveals a deeper plan. By joining BRICS, Malaysia is poised to play a pivotal role in shaping the economic and maritime policies of this influential bloc. Picture Malaysia at the helm of decisions that could shift the dynamics of global trade and energy transport. This isn't merely about joining a group, it's about amplifying Malaysia's voice on the global stage. The nation's involvement in BRICS could redefine its international standing, allowing it to contribute significantly to the bloc's strategic directions. Anwar's move highlights his acute understanding of Malaysia's potential as a global player, ready to navigate and influence the future of international trade routes. With Malaysia's membership, BRICS gains not just a new member, but a strategic partner whose geographical and economic advantages promise to enhance the bloc's global influence. This is more than a new alliance. It's a transformative step towards a multipolar world where Malaysia is a key player. Since its inception in 2006, BRICS has grown remarkably, expanding its membership and influence. The recent inclusion of Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, and the United Arab Emirates highlights its increasing appeal among emerging economies. These nations, officially joining in January 2024, bring diverse strengths and a shared vision to challenge the Western-dominated global order. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. What makes BRICS so attractive to these countries? BRICS was initially formed to counterbalance the economic dominance of the G7 countries. Over the years, it has evolved into a significant political and economic bloc, actively seeking to reform global financial and governance institutions. Imagine a world where the rules aren't dictated solely by Western powers. The group's new development bank NDB is a prime example of this effort. By providing funding for infrastructure and sustainable development projects in member countries, the NDB reduces reliance on Western-dominated financial institutions like the IMF and World Bank. Malaysia's bid to join BRICS is both timely and strategic. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's assertion that the world is no longer unipolar resonates with the sentiments of many nations. His statement that the West can no longer control the discourse reflects a growing dissatisfaction with the existing global governance framework, 
which often sidelines the interests of developing nations. This sentiment is at the heart of why BRICS is gaining momentum. For Malaysia, joining BRICS is not just about economic benefits, but also about being part of a movement that seeks to create a more balanced global power structure. It's a call for independence and equal representation on the world stage. Malaysia's move signals its readiness to engage with like-minded nations in shaping a fairer and more inclusive global order. As Malaysia steps forward, its potential membership in BRICS is set to amplify its voice and influence in international affairs. This strategic alignment promises to open new avenues for economic growth, political alliances, and global leadership. In joining BRICS, Malaysia isn't just participating in a bloc, it's helping to redefine the very nature of global governance. Anwar Ibrahim's emphasis on the Global South highlights Malaysia's deep commitment to solidarity among developing countries. But what exactly is the Global South, and why does it matter? The term encompasses regions across Latin America, Asia, Africa, and Oceania, areas often marginalized in international forums dominated by Western powers. For these nations, alignment with BRICS represents more than an economic opportunity. It's a chance to advocate for fairer economic policies and greater representation in global institutions. Malaysia will be at the forefront of this movement. By joining BRICS, Malaysia aims to champion the causes of these nations, lending its voice to reshape international discourse and policies. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's strategic move underscores Malaysia's readiness to lead by example, fostering alliances that promote mutual growth and development. But this strategic pivot isn't merely rhetorical. Malaysia's potential BRICS membership promises tangible economic and diplomatic benefits. Enhanced trade relations, increased investment flows, and strengthened political alliances with BRICS countries can catalyze Malaysia's economic growth and development. Take, for instance, Malaysia's strategic location, an asset that makes it an attractive partner for China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative BRI. This initiative aims to enhance global trade routes and economic integration, potentially leading to significant infrastructure investments and economic partnerships for Malaysia. Moreover, as BRICS members increasingly conduct trade in their currencies, Malaysia could reduce its dependence on the US dollar, potentially insulating itself from Western economic pressures. This shift represents not just an economic opportunity, but also a strategic action to assert Malaysia's autonomy and influence in global affairs. As Malaysia navigates this pivotal moment, its alignment with BRICS signals a new era of collaboration and solidarity among nations of the global south. It's a journey towards a more balanced and inclusive global order, where Malaysia's voice resonates alongside other emerging economies, shaping the future of international relations and economic policies. We have also talked about how Malaysia has a plan to change the Western dominant world. But why is there Western criticism by Malaysia? Anwar's critique of Western dominance and his call for independent expression by sovereign nations reflect a broader ideological shift. The Prime Minister's vision aligns with the core principles of BRICS, fostering a multipolar world where power is distributed more equitably. This stance particularly appeals to nations that have long felt subjugated by Western policies and narratives. Malaysia's move towards BRICS is a declaration of its intent to be an active player in reshaping global governance. It is a call to other nations to join in the effort to create a world order that respects the sovereignty and voices of all countries, irrespective of their economic or political clout. But has Malaysia witnessed any problems caused by the West's dominance? Historically, Malaysia, like many developing nations, has encountered barriers or unequal terms in global trade agreements that are often set by Western-dominated institutions, such as the World Trade Organization WTO, International Monetary Fund INF, or World Bank. These institutions have sometimes been criticized for policies that favor Western economies or impose conditions that may not align with the development priorities of countries in the Global South, including Malaysia. This can include conditions related to trade liberalization, intellectual property rights, or financial assistance packages that may come with stringent austerity measures. 
Moreover, Western economic policies and fluctuations in global markets, influenced by Western economies, can impact Malaysia's own economic stability and growth trajectory. For instance, changes in global commodity prices, which are often influenced by Western consumption patterns and market dynamics, can have significant effects on Malaysia's export-driven economy, particularly in sectors like palm oil, rubber, and electronics. As Malaysia charts its course to join BRICS, could this decision unlock new vistas of global influence, expand market horizons, and fortify its voice on the international stage? This strategic move not only aligns with Malaysia's drive to achieve high income status, but also underscores its intent to harness strategic advantages and robust economic fundamentals. The bid for BRICS membership signifies a bold strategic shift for Malaysia, poised to elevate its geopolitical stature, open doors to fresh economic opportunities, and forge stronger diplomatic bonds. By aligning with dynamic emerging economies, Malaysia appears to advocate for a more balanced and multipolar global order. Stepping into uncharted territory, Malaysia isn't just reacting to global dynamics, but actively influencing them. Embracing BRICS, Malaysia seeks not only to advance its interests, but also to contribute to a broader global movement toward fairness and inclusivity. In an era questioning traditional Western dominance, Malaysia's leap toward BRICS sparks curiosity and optimism a beacon toward a more equitable global order, where collaboration and prosperity are shared among nations. Do you think this decision must be appreciated by all who want a multipolar world? Would BRICS make a multipolar world a reality? Let us know in the comments section. Is this the reason why nations are attracted to BRICS? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.